The Denver Metro air quality is failing when it comes to air quality. The American Lung Association ranks the Denver Metro area sixth in the nation for poor air. Fort Collins ranked 15th and Colorado Springs 20th. So what exactly is behind that ranking? We want to get out live to Fox 31 problem solver Shaw Turner. Shaw, you actually found that some things that we all have around our house could contribute to this problem. You know, I was so shocked to find out that stuff like scented garbage bags, hairspray, all those kind of little things can contribute to what's happening up in the ozone. Now in Colorado, though, we have a special situation. With all of our growth, we have, of course, a lot more traffic out there. We have wildland fires, and it's all backed up to the mountains, which can trap in pollution. Traffic, industry, it's all in Colorado, and it has an effect. You have VOCs that can come from agriculture. You have VOCs that can come from oil and gas. You have VOCs that can come from plants. All these VOCs uh, mix with our tailpipe emissions and contribute to ozone pollution. Dr. Matthew Coggin of the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration is an expert on Colorado's air quality. We can measure molecules down to parts per trillion. I like to say we're CSI agents. He tells the problem solvers Colorado's sunny weather supercharges the effect. We have more sunlight that tends to cook the pollution that we emit as humans and that drives air quality issues off. They undergo reactions that lead to the formation of tropospheric ozone. In case you didn't understand that. It's almost like um, an oxidant, like bleach. Um, and so it's something that if you can imagine if you were to breathe in bleach, it would do damage to your lung cells. It's the same thing with ozone. That's why the state health department monitors hotspot areas and conditions that affect those with respiratory problems. Well, in county, we do see a, a lot of sources of pollution. But of course, as you move down to Denver, we have a lot of traffic here. We have a lot of industry. What we exhale and even household items like paint, cleaning products, and scented garbage bags can emit VOCs. I can only imagine what's in this makeup bag. Is yeah. there any way that you can test it? I'm brave enough Absolutely. To go for it. Let's go see what's in here. Okay. So we'll take a sniff. Monoterpenes. These are fragrances. These are things that we put into our, into our um, personal care products to smell good. And it all ends up here. That's right. I guess I gotta take some stuff out of that makeup bag. Well, what can we do to reduce those VOCs out there? Experts say, look, you don't have to get rid of your hairspray and your garbage bags. Just make sure they're sealed when they're not in use. It's as simple as that. And if you have allergies, lung or heart problems, National Jewish Health tells Fox 31 that you should stay inside on those high ozone days. Use a HEPA filter and keep your medications close by. But remember when I-25 wasn't this busy this time of night or at 3 in the morning on a Tuesday when you're going to go to the airport? Well, that has changed. Denver has changed. Shaw Turner, Fox 31.